we're like halfway there. Excuse these glasses. I thought they were cool when I bought them, but all my friends said they're silly, so. I'm leaving for my first ever cycling tour in about a week from today, which means I'm kind of in chaotic prep mode. <laughs> I have a lot to do this week. This week is gonna be a balance of training, working, and all the prep that I still have to do before we leave. working today but I only had like two and a half hours to spare so I biked as far as I physically could in two and a half hours and now I'm gonna actually eat breakfast because I forgot now obviously nutrition is a very big part of training as an athlete <laughs> now obviously nutrition is a very big part of training which is why I eat good I tried to finish most of my last minute shopping. I got all the food I needed. I got a bunch of little toiletries. Iceland is obviously very expensive. I'm also gonna be wild camping. So I wanna bring as much food as I can because I'm not always gonna have like a gas station or a campsite to buy food at. That's why I have a bunch of these backpackers meals. And then I got some granola bars. I have one protein bar, these instant mashed potatoes. I have a ton of oatmeal, some instant coffee, some gels. I have nuts, peanuts, candy. And then I'm gonna figure out what supplements and vitamins I wanna bring as well. fast or do we look fast? Oh. Ah, thank you. Thanks, sorry. Thank you for your time. <laughs> We're on our way to Ghost Lake, which is about 75 kilometers from where we live. Yeah, this is a nice race, right? You like my bike? Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be more like... It's not as heavy as it looks. No. Um, no. We're like halfway there. Yeah. We got matching shirts. <laughs> we're trespassing. It says beware of dog. We just wanted shade.
it though. Oh, should we jump in the lake? You can scout if you want, but yeah, we can scout before we um, set up the tent. Wow, it's really smoky right now. I'm congested. We did it. The lake's just over there. It's not that bad. It's actually kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I have to bring my bike into the shop tomorrow to get it packed up in a specific size box so that I can bring it on the plane to Iceland. And I'm allowed to have my panniers on the bike while it's in the box, but I'm not allowed to have anything in the panniers while it's in the box on the plane. So tonight what I have to do is pack every single thing that I'm going to be bringing to Iceland on the bike to make sure it fits and that I can bike with it and then unpack it all so I can bring the bike in to get it boxed up. Redundant but necessary. For reference, this is the list. Okay, a bit of a tailwind. So here's our rough plan for the Tinny Downs. Look horrendous. So basically the way I'm carrying my tent is that it's going to be strapped onto the back of my rear rack, like on top. But when I was riding with it last time, the tent bag was kind of like rubbing on my tire. And so I needed something flat and thin to stop my tent bag from sagging down to the tire. Does this make sense? So I cut up the cardboard from my laptop box and I bought some, what is this? 
water sealant tape from the dollar store. I don't know if this is really gonna work, but I just needed something that was like cardboard but wouldn't melt, you know? <laughs> so I'm hoping, that it's like tape for like when you have a leak in your faucet or something. And I'm hoping that this will help keep water out of my cardboard so that it stays rigid and not flaccid. I also spent a couple hours this morning packing my bags. I bought essentially a throwaway suitcase. I don't wanna have to throw it away, but I bought like a $15 suitcase off of Facebook Marketplace so that I can bring all my stuff to Iceland. But obviously I can't bike with the suitcase, so if I'm not able to store it anywhere, it's not gonna be a big loss if I have to say goodbye to it, you know? Should, should be good. So I managed to fit everything I'm bringing into one luggage case, one carry-on, one backpack, and of course the bike box, which is only allowed to have my bike and panniers in it. And so when I get to Iceland, I have to store, unfortunately I have to rent basically a little storage unit or something that can fit the bike box in it. Kind of expensive, but I'm gonna need the bike box on the way back. And I'm gonna also see if I can fit these bags that I can't bring on the bike into the bike box while it's in storage so that I don't have to buy new bags on the way home. So, this is the setup. I'm heading to the airport tomorrow. Our flight's at like 3 p.m. I'm actually flying with my friend Molly. She was supposed to come biking with me the entire way, but she decided that she ultimately wasn't ready to do a bike trip. So she's kind of going to do her own thing. She's going to go hiking, I think, for the whole three weeks, and I'm going to be biking, and then we're going to like try to meet up at some point. I have a lot of stress acne right now. I ended up squeezing in one last workout before we fly out tomorrow and it's not even because I felt like I needed a workout, but I just had so much anxious energy in my body that I needed to do something or else I wasn't gonna sleep. Like I've been running around all day and I probably should be tired, but I'm not. It's just like purely anxiety right now. So I'm squatting, I got the Crocs, I got the gym to myself and I'm trying to burn off all the anxiety. Grazing. Grazing in the sunset. Oh, to be a horse in Iceland grazing in the sunset. With a bowl cut. <laughs> 